Good afternoon, boys and girls. Uh, my friends and family from Facebook World. Um, I have a special guest here today, Officer Zabicki. He's speaking to our kids, and um, firstly, we're showing them a video, and um, he's going to give us a, a presentation on police safety, careers in police. Good question. That's a good question. Okay, let me tell you the difference between a police force and a sheriff's office. A sheriff's office, just like a police force, we have people on patrol. We have detectives. We have people that work narcotics. We have people that, like myself, a school resource officer, just like the police department is having. However, for the sheriff, the sheriff is responsible for the courts. You got superior court, 
district court, small claims court. The sheriff is all responsible for the detention center. The sheriff is responsible for serving civil papers. The sheriff is responsible for serving warrants. And the sheriff is responsible for going out and serving the child support papers. What about the, the, the police officers? The police officers, they don't do everything the sheriff does. The sheriff's office is law enforcement. And like I said, if you work for the Jacksonville Police Department, you will not have to run to jail. You won't serve civil papers. You won't, uh, you won't work the courthouses. You won't transport prisoners. You won't transport inmates. You won't transport people who are sick. That's the difference. So, um, so sheriffs, like, um, they like taking these people to prison. Police officers, well, police officers may take them to prison, but by law, the sheriff of Onslow County has to transport prisoners and trans transport inmates. That's it for this way, right? Jacksonville Police Department arrests you. All right, you said they arrest you. They bring you to the Onslow County Jail, therefore you get turned over to the Sheriff's Department. You go to the Onslow County Jail. You have you go you have your first appearance in court, and you are going to be escorted by an Onslow County Sheriff, not a Jacksonville Police Department. When if you're found guilty and you're sent to prison, the Onslow County Sheriff's Office will put you in the back of a car and take you to the prison of where you're going to go. But the police don't do that kind of stuff, all right? Because that's not what they're supposed to do. The sheriff is required to do that in each of the counties in North Carolina. Okay? Any other? Yes, young lady. Do you have a gun? Yes, I, I do. Oh. Are you twins? Yeah. I thought so. We should thank you, Joe. That was that was easy. Do you want to grade? No. What grade are you all in? Six. Six? Where do you go to school? I haven't seen you two before, no. oh, which is good. I don't know who you are. Though. That's good. Yes, young lady. Um, can you have dogs? Dogs? Yes, we have four canine dogs. Some of the dogs are for tracking. Other dogs are for finding things. Yes, young lady. Um, Okay. Yes. Yes. Aloha. What's that? We did salute right there. Maybe they did. Different places salute different. Yes, young man. What is it? Can you tell us how No, I cannot do that. Yes, advocate. Yes, young man. Sheriff what? No, we are not police. We are deputies. I explained earlier the difference between the sheriff's office and the police department. All right? Yes. I am a sheriff's deputy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you don't want to be tased. Tased is very painful. 
And if you have a choice between being tased and sprayed, it should be tased, not sprayed. Hey, hey, let, let, let Officer Zabicki go through his presentation, okay. all right? Now, Jewish Convention is answering enough questions right now, and we're going to go through a couple things here. How many of you go to Dixon Elementary? Elementary. Okay. How many of you are between kindergarten and second grade? Okay. Well, you're going to, you'll probably see this presentation again sometime after the Christmas holidays because you were all supposed to see it prior, but then something came to screw things up called Hurricane yeah. Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. Everything's scheduled. Hurricane Today, today I was coming over here to your school. We were born. Okay. Today we're going to talk first about who you can call in case of emergency. All right, 911. Right, remember that number 911. Anytime you have a problem, you can call 911. Okay. Now I'm going to come up with some ideas, not ideas, but some scenarios. And if you think it's an emergency, you go like this. If you think it's not an emergency, you go like this. Okay. You're home alone, you trip on a toy, and fall down the stairs. Your ankle hurts badly, it's swollen, it looks broken. Okay, very good. You come home from school and your cat is missing. Yeah, well, it could be. Some people could be down, some people could be up. You can call the pets if you yes. came home and there was a man. Okay. You see a strange person looking in the windows of a neighbor's house. Right. Daddy. Oh, okay. Two oh, twins. If, All right. If it's a dad, it's a okay. You have an argument with your older brother and you want to get him in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a fire in your house. Emergency, that's right. Okay. Wait, what if it's in the fire? Obviously not, then. Okay. What if it's a fire not in the fireplace? Emergency or not emergency? Thank you very much. Oh, the way we Okay. You are with a parent in a car and you are in an accident. You are with your parent in a car, and you are in an accident. That's right. That's an emergency. Okay. You are with your mother, and she becomes very ill and faints. That's right. That's an emergency. Okay. That's an emergency. I said, you are with your mother, and she becomes very ill and faints. You can't wake her up. One. Just all black and hands are gone. That would be That's enough. That's enough to do it. Okay? Okay. Let's look at the picture here. Now, which, which ones are emergencies and which ones are emergencies? Are any, any of these that are not emergencies? Which one's not an emergency? Well, that's, that's, that's the, they're holding a bear, but they're making, these are, these are the kids, and these are the four things that are, three, I'm sorry. Any of those nine emergencies? Okay. Right. Okay. Now, if you're home alone, and the emergency comes up, what do you do? Yes.
and his last name. Know your address. Okay. Now he's answering this, all right? If I said to you, twins here. If I said to you, how do I get to your house from where we are? How do you come? How do you come to get there? Where are you? Your lane. Okay. How would you get here? How would you get there from here? Okay. No, you would drive down. Turn, you would turn around, turn, 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 you would turn, yes. You would turn, and then you would turn. That's the name of turning. No, see, you don't know what to see. If you're asking me, like, well, I would say probably I go out here and make a right hand turn or a left hand turn. Right, Take a right hand turn. Okay? Okay. Make a right leg going back to four corners, right? And then you're going to get on to Steesbury Road. Follow Steesbury. Follow Stevesbury Road and then it becomes Peru Road. Yeah. And then Peru Road brings you to Hill Road. Hill Lane. Hill Lane. That's, see, I know how to get there. So if I say to you, I patrol out there. So that's why it's important for you to know where you live. I know my address. Right. Well, but that's something you need to start thinking about on how to get there. So not only do you have to know your address, but know how to get there. How many of you? If I told you, alright, who goes to Dixon Elementary School? Alright, new man. From where we are right now, how do we get to Dixon Elementary School? What are the directions to get to Dixon Elementary School? You know? From Dixon Elementary, you would go to Four Corners. Yes. You would go to Four Corners, and then you would, you would turn. Which way? Left hand turn. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Right. 
the bills? You should or should not? Should not be touching. Okay, so we're looking here. You got a mother, you got a father and a daughter, and they've gone shopping. And would you put the bleach with the bread? No. Right. Yes. Would you put the milk with the cough syrup? Yeah. Yes. No. I need to take your kids. Okay. The idea is you want to try to put things like you want to keep things that are dangerous away from food. And a lot of you aren't that old. But if you've got toddler brothers and sisters, you want to have this bleach where your, your toddler brother and sister can get to it? Yeah. Do you want them to get near the rubbing alcohol? Well, as you can see, my kids, they are enjoying themselves with Officer of Bicky. He's very good, very good deputy, He's very professional. He works at uh, Dixon Middle School, and um, this has been a blast. Uh, my kids, they were really excited about it. Maybe um, I'll probably do another video depending on what's going on, but as you can tell, he, he's really good. He's really good professionally, and he has all the attention. And a lot of officers and a, a lot of professionals can't do that. But um, he's really good, really good. All right, this is Number Boom signing off at the Boys and Girls Club. God bless. God bless America. Have a great day. Bye.